Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today is Monday, which means it's time for an episode of Loadout, the series where you guys, the viewers, get to pick a gun and customization for me to use. The way you do this is you leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of weapon and accessories you'd like me to run with, and I will pick one of the top rated comments for the next episode. Today's top comment comes from the Battlefield guy. He says the Winter Soldier Loadout from Captain America 2. Primary is the M416 with a hollow sight flashlight, heavy barrel, and underslung rail. Secondary will be the Compact 45 Naked. Gadget 1 is the First Aid Pack Gadget 2 M320 Heavy Explosives. Knife will be the Boot, Grenade M67, Field Upgrade, Grenadier. Try and use the MGL whenever possible. Hope you use my loadout. Now I have to admit it's kind of hard to pass up an M416 loadout, especially one that's highly rated. And I gotta say that the Winter Soldier in Captain America 2 was badass. That grenade launcher was awesome. I did pick up the MGL whenever possible. Unfortunately, it's really not that great of a weapon. You almost have to hit people twice unless you get a direct shot on them. In fact, you do have to hit them at least twice unless you do shoot them directly. However, having an extra M67 frag grenade every time I spawn is a pretty welcome addition. The M67 frag will kill in one hit, and having two of them gives you double the killing power. This is something that I might actually consider running with a little bit more often, especially for uh, modes like Team Deathmatch, where I'm going to rely a lot on grenades and clearing rooms and stuff like that. Here I'm in the last moments of Hangar 21 on Rush, and unfortunately our team just could not push it. It was a 64 player Rush game, and Hangar 21 is such an open map, just couldn't get past their snipers and all of their bipod guys dug in. It's also a nice change up to run with the M320 again, very useful for blowing through cover and killing guys behind walls when they're not expecting it. I started running with the defib a lot more once the triage system came out, making it a little bit more effective and a little bit more predictable when people were going to despawn so you wouldn't miss out on those revive options. But uh, the M320 is still a great addition. I usually run with a med pack in either defibs or a med pack in M320. And uh, M320 is great for Team Deathmatch. I don't really believe too much in reviving in TDM because half of the time when you do it, you're going to get yourself killed and usually the guy that you just revived. So I find it a little bit more worthwhile to run with something more offensive. It is cool though having the M320 as an actual underslung grenade launcher rather than its own separate unit. It's no longer necessary to run with a lot of under barrel attachments. You can run with them. But uh, there's still a lot of debate right now as to whether or not it's more effective to run with things like a stubby grip or angled foregrip versus just not having anything in the uh, under barrel or the grip department with these assault rifles. And the M416 is a perfectly adequate weapon without something underslung. I can still nail people halfway across the map with this rifle. It's one of my favorites in the game. And then of course we've got the EOTech sight on there with the ring and dot system which is unique to this style of sight. It's got a large sight picture but also a lot of sight housing around it. So it can be a little tricky sometimes you'll lose your targets in the sight housing but I really do like this optic for the aesthetics of it and it's really not that bad to game with either. Sure the coyote sight is significantly better but this one has just got that cool authentic feel to it and it really doesn't slow me down too much. Now speaking of authenticity I do have to point out the fact that the 416 just isn't the gun that the Winter Soldier is using in Captain America 2. He's actually just using a standard M4 with an EOTech and rail mounted grenade launcher. It looks cool it looks very similar to the M416 but it's just not an M416. However in the film he does shoot his gun in full auto and you cannot shoot the M4 in this game in full auto so in terms of playing style this is probably a little bit more authentic to the movie. Not really sure why they limited the M4 to burst fire only in Battlefield 4. I really did prefer the full auto option in Battlefield 3. It was just a lot more fun to run with. And since the M4 is such an iconic and such a popular weapon in the US military, it seems kind of silly that they would limit it to burst fire and BF4. Now I will admit that the M416 is actually my most used weapon in Battlefield 4. Not by a lot, but uh, I do have a bit of an edge over the other guns. It's not a huge amount of kills though, 2,413 kills. Might seem a lot to some, but really not that many for uh, some of the dedicated players out there. I just vary up my weapons a lot when playing BF4, so even my most used weapon doesn't have an insane amount of kills on it. Now one tip that I can give to the casual gamer or the average gamer out there is 
find a gun that you really like or find a good gun in the game and stick with it for a while. Learn the recoil, learn the reload time, learn everything about that weapon and get very familiar and comfortable with using it. This will give you an edge in the battlefield. It will give you a, uh, a edge over your competition, especially if they're not dedicating themselves to a specific set of weapons. It is something that I do kind of miss from playing Battlefield before I was a YouTuber and mixing up my playstyle a lot. I would basically just stick with a certain set of guns, learn them very well, and be very comfortable with them. And that kind of comfort level allowed me to actually play quite a bit better. I don't really do that as much anymore because I try and keep the gameplay interesting, use a lot of different weapons for you guys. But uh, if I was going to dedicate myself to a few weapons, it'd probably be the M416 and the AAK in terms of assault rifles. Now the 416 is great at medium range, but it's not quite as good at longer ranges, at least as good as it used to be. And the AEK shortens that distance even further. So you might be thinking, well, how can these guns be great universal weapons if they really can't handle targets at those extreme long ranges? Well, you always have the option as a player to close the distance. Sometimes it can be a little bit trickier depending on what map you're playing on. Sometimes it even makes more sense just to switch up your weapon to a long range weapon depending on the map or the situation that you're in. But you often have the option to close the distance which is why high rate of fire high damaging weapons pretty much always going to be king in this game because you as a player have the option to close that distance on your enemy shorten it up and then give yourself the advantage now playing a game of last islands on rush can be tricky because it's so open that you often don't have a lot of options in closing that distance but as you can see in this clip here even though i am exposed to some snipers at long range i can still get close to these guys underneath this cliffside here and i'm even making use of my underslung grenade launcher which when you have the high ground on your opponent becomes infinitely more useful because you can aim at their feet getting a very high percentage of splash damage if you get lucky and get that direct shot you will one shot them anyway usually in this game if somebody's exposed they're gonna have a little bit of damage done to them anyway so you can get that one shot kill with the splash and these poor bastards are just getting flanked like crazy unfortunately they're spawning faster than I could kill them we managed to hold them at three MCOMs that does pretty much wrap it up for this episode of loadout the 416 is a beast of a weapon regardless of the attachments that you're putting on it nowadays don't forget to leave your comments down below letting me know what kind of weapon and accessories you'd like me to run with for the next episode of Loadout. I'll see you guys next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.